Hello everyone, welcome back to the part 5 of Hematology. In this video, our topic of discussion is going to be hemoglobin. Consider subscribing to my channel for more of medical lectures and health tips. Hemoglobin Hemoglobin is the coloring matter of RBC, which is also the protein and called chromoprotein because of color. It forms 95% of dry weight of RBC and 30 to 34% of wet weight. Normal values of hemoglobin. The value varies depending upon the age and sex of the individual. Age. At birth, 25 gram percent of hemoglobin is present. After 3 months, it is 20 gram percent. After one year, it is about 17 gram percent and from puberty, it is 14 to 16 gram percent. At birth, HP content is very high because of increased RBC count. Sex. In adult male, it is 14 to 18 gram percent and in adult female, it is 12 to 16 gram percent. Structure of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a conjugated protein. It consists of protein combined with iron containing pigment. Protein part is globin and iron containing part is heme. Hemoglobin consists of iron, porphyrin and globin. Iron is normally present in ferrous form which is unstable. The pigment part is called porphyrin. It is formed by four pyrrole rings. The pyrrol rings are attached to one another by methane bridges. The iron is attached to N of each ring and N of each globin molecule. Globin contains four polypeptide chains which are two alpha chains and the two beta chains. Types of normal hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is of two types, adult hemoglobin and fetal hemoglobin. Adult has two alpha chains and two beta chains, whereas in fetal it is two alpha chains and two gamma chains. Synthesis of hemoglobin mainly takes place in mitochondria and cytoplasm. In mitochondria, two molecules of succinyl-CoA and two molecules of glycine in present of ALA synthetase form delta aminolevulinic acid. This is the first byproduct in the formation of heme. This byproduct enters cytoplasm where two molecules of delta aminolevulinic acid in present of ALA dehydratase forms porphobilinogen. This porphobilinogen in presence of synthetase forms the uroporphobilinogen 1. The uroporphobilinogen 1 in presence of co-synthetase forms uroporphobilinogen 3. This in presence of decarboxylase forms coproporphyrinogen 3. This from cytoplasm goes to the mitochondria. This coproporphinogen enters the mitochondria and in presence of the oxidase, it forms protoporphyrinogen 9, which later again in presence of oxidase forms the protoporphyrin 9, which in presence of ferrochelatase forms the heme. Four molecules of this heme combines with globin which is which has the globin alpha and beta chains to form hemoglobin now we come to the functions of hemoglobin transport of respiratory gases basically oxygen is transported to tissues and carbon dioxide to the lungs by hemoglobin transport of oxygen when oxygen binds with hemoglobin, a physical process called oxygenation occurs resulting in the formation of oxyhemoglobin which is unstable and reversible. Iron is in ferrous state and oxygen is released. Transport of carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide binds with hemoglobin, carb hemoglobin is formed which is again unstable and reversible where carbon dioxide is released. This is the 
transport function of the hemoglobin. The affinity of hemoglobin for carbon dioxide is 20 times more than oxygen. Second, the buffer action. Hb acts as buffer and plays important role in acid-base balance. Destruction of hemoglobin. After a lifespan of 120 days, the RBC is destroyed in the reticuloendothelial system, particularly in spleen, and the hemoglobin is released into plasma. Hemoglobin is degraded and split into globin, iron and porphyrin. Globin, it is utilized for resynthesis of hemoglobin. Iron is stored as ferritin and hemosiderin, which is again reutilized. Porphyrin is converted into green pigment biliverdin and yellow pigment bilirubin. Thank you for watching the video and notes will be uploaded on Instagram and Facebook. Link will be given in description.